Well, hello everyone. Here we are. It is Monday, the beginning of another wonderful week. Um, as you can see, we are still uh, focused on finishing the felt Christmas stocking that is being uh, assembled for one of my children. And uh, this is actually just the picture of the finished product. Uh, they are two gingerbread men uh, with some candy and the child's name at the top and some cookies and cupcakes there in the middle. I have made these for a long time. Um, I have only sewed a couple of them just because I don't have a lot of patience for sewing, but I decided to go ahead and assemble this with some stitches, at least the stocking itself, because this is going to be like the skeleton of the whole project. And so far, I've stitched a blanket stitch around the uh, edging of most of half of this um, base of the stocking. So um, basically, before you even start to begin doing that, you want to make sure that your two pieces that are similar design are cut out and ready for stitching, but you want to make them flip inside out. Let me actually get that needle out of there so you can see better. Okay. So you want to flip them inside out, okay, in order to stitch them together like that, okay? So as you can see, there is a, a diagram to show you where everything goes, which uh, items go where on the front. And this is just the back of it, okay? So it's really easy to do. Um, as I mentioned before, this is actually number three in my series of trying to finish this particular product um, for one of my boys. Um, but I have gone ahead and ordered some... E6000 craft adhesive, which by the way guys, when you are using that glue, you have got to make sure you're using latex gloves or rubber gloves and you have some sort of ventilation in your house or maybe like a ceiling fan to help out in the very same room that you're using this glue. For years, I had used it um, without any sort of precautions and I do believe that it causes, um, probably is a precursor to some diseases and probably irritates asthma, bronchitis, um, lung diseases. So, I mean, there's no proven facts out there that state it causes cancer or lung cancer, or infertility or anything like that. But um, the thing is, just be careful when you're using it. Make sure you have plenty of air. I really don't like using it, but um, I do think it's going to last longer for the project if I use glue instead of stitching everything in there. So, the sequins are going to stay on better. They're not going to come apart and so forth. So, with that being said, we're going to finish up the stitching of this uh, particular uh, base. And then I will probably get on here in a couple of days and show you the uh, workings of these pieces. So that's it. That's all I got for now. Happy crafting.